everyone, this is CJ Novo992, and today we are back for another brand new video. As you can tell, I'm extremely sick just now, but we're going to batter this video out because there's some Rangers news to be rounded up. It's a wee thing I like to call the Rangers Roundup. As you can tell by that deliciously clickbait you tell, we're still going to be covering the transfer news slightly, but it's not all just going to be a transfer-related topic, which the last few videos have actually been. It's kind of been a subject we've talked about in the podcast, and even on yesterday's veil, the documentary thing's continuing to move forward. We've touched on it, and today there's been a like a bid, a, a reportedly accepted. Now, I did tweet out teasingly, I think it was yesterday, where I was like, I'll be talking about a Hamilton player we've signed. Um, there's been some other circumstances between the two chairmen, blah, blah, we'll not go into, but yeah, the, the deal's moving on nice and easy. And I expect them to be a Rangers player very, very soon. If it's not even announced today, it might be tomorrow. I don't think it'll be today. Because I think the bid's just been accepted. So, yeah, by the time the medical and everything, maybe tomorrow. So, yeah, tomorrow, look out for that. And that'll be Greg Dockery joining the ranks. Uh, uh. What the fuck was that? So, that's another tidy little bit of transfer news. I think the rumour bid's between about 500k. So, the same amount we spent for Barry McKay. Oh, somebody kill me, please! So how do you feel about that? Do you think it's a good thing that he's coming in? Do you think he's going to start? Do you see more of an impact player? Because we have a lot of midfield players and I want to kind of touch on that towards the end of the video as well. So yeah, let me know. Do you think he's going to start? And what do you think of the deal? Thumbs up, thumbs down. Let me know down below. Moving on to story number two of today and that's actually going to be the media handling of Rangers Football Club. Now we made a series about it. I'm not being able to make as many as I want to just because of work and everything. I've been a bit tired. Tired from work before anyone says anything. But yeah, it's just been kind of turning its head more and more. I want to touch on a little couple of things. And I just didn't help myself there. I know there's a lot more, but I'm pretty sure if I do an episode two, I'll kind of include them. But let's talk about some of the media, okay? So Rangers put in a bid for Jordan Jones, and it got absolutely slaughtered on the papers. Everywhere, just slaughtering it. Oh, it's embarrassing. Low balling clubs. Even though Aberdeen put in a, the exact same amount for Molt, who couldn't stop scoring. But that was that was all right by the newspapers, because it's Aberdeen, it's no Rangers. Everything but Rangers gets blown out of complete proportion and even today we fucking nay shame aka judas rat bitch transferred over to hearts like who gives a crap like people are trying to annoy us be like oh he's missed out naismith did we did we did we really want him absolutely not i think three people did and two of them was his family that's it nobody cares about naismith anymore but the newspapers wanted to decide to go with hearts beat out rangers to get naismith the only reason we would actually want Naismith to come into the club is so Jason Cummins, Ryan Jack and Russell Martin could just run and take slide challenges at those dodgy, dodgy knees. So yeah, newspaper were embarrassing that. And also, I don't really like if I want to go into too much details, but yeah, there was that news targeted out and there was a headline everything made of a Rangers family um, digging in his past and everything like that just because of a song sung at the Florida Cup. Way, way overblown. Only reason they're doing it is because it's Rangers Football Club. Absolutely disgusting. It's embarrassing. Block the sun. Block them. Make sure you be doing it. Firing up your tweets. I will certainly retweet them. This just got to stop, lads. It's just absolutely disgusting. Disgusting. Yeah, and that's my thoughts. And I'm not going to go into too many details and reveal too much more. Because it's, it, it's honestly just horrible. Horrible, horrible coverage from the Scottish media. And it's just, where does it end? I'll tell you right now where it ends. It ends right now because we're moving on to story number three. But before we do... It's time for that sponsor break because I've got the cold and it's hurting my voice. So let's bang out this sponsor break. Grab your refreshments, hot chocolates, whatever you like. <sighs> sponsor break. <laughs> Right, let's move on to story number three now, and that is going to be the old timing rumour. They were bringing them back in, the newspapers are all posting it, everyone's kind of discussing it. Um, I've obviously fired up a, a poll, as I usually do. Original content. Um, to get some of the fans' opinions to see if we need them back. But for me personally, if, he's wanting, if you want me to tell you guys if it's happening, from what I know from the people I know that I've spoke to that's not happening, it's just paper talk. So go with that if you will. I've heard absolutely nothing concrete. I've asked a few people and they've all told me that it's just rumours and paper talk. So let me know how you feel about it. Would you want me to come back? Let's read out the poll and let's see what they've done. Let's see what the numbers they smashed in. Oh, wow. Wow, okay. So the actual poll. Why am I so white today, Casper? Right, that's better. Uh, right, the Hyman rumour, as interesting as it is, do we need him? And I'll say that because we've got Jack, McCrory, Holt, Goss, Halliday, Rossiter, Dorans, Barjonas. If you want to include Nico in there, but I wouldn't. He's all centre midfield. But I wouldn't even put Nico as a football player, to be honest with you. But that is eight players there. And also we've got Doherty come in as well, which is a lot of people who come into the squad. And we only play two centre mids, lads. So what are we doing bringing this boy in if we want to loan him? It doesn't make sense to me, personally. But yeah, let's see. 621 votes. 
Now, I've got to be honest, we have actually been smashing Twitter the last few days. I think they got 495, we hit 555. Uh, yesterday or the day before, another day. So let's continue that. Smash the like button and give them a wee kick in the teeth. Right, Twitter, they went with no by 72% of 621 votes. And let's read out some of you guys' opinion. Ian McDougall was the first one in. He says, if we bring in another midfielder in, sooner bring in Dockery. The amount of play midfield players we have is huge. So surely we'd have to leave the club. Someone would have to leave the club. Govan Bear at Z1702. Hard one. If Dockery then shouldn't. If we get Docker, then shouldn't be any more. But with Dorrance and Ross, look like to be out for ages. McCrory with a knock and Cranshaw being shit. <laughs> Maybe a possibility of Hymer on loan for cover if needed. In case of any more injuries and suspensions. Good little point there, mate. I like that one. Peter Ramsey, aka my NFL buddy, we discuss it all the time. Hyman, where would he play? I don't think uh, we need him. Never, he never really done much when he was here either. Yeah, it's weird because I thought he had his first four or five games. He was pretty good, and then he kind of fizzled away and sort of died off. Still a good little player, very young, but I didn't see the point in bringing in these young boys and then no playing them because who are you going to drop? I mean, you all love this guy. That's never getting old. So are you just going to drop him back again? Right, Scott Young says he's a decent squad player, but when it comes to the end of the season, plus he knows how Murray works, and Murray also knows how he plays and where is the best position. I think his best position is on the bench. <laughs> Just kidding, Scott. Just... Greg Brown says, bring in, bring him in and put Halliday back out to the pasture. <laughs> Andy Wilson, I love him back. Dylan Sharkey says, if we get Dockery, then no, we have a pretty solid midfield at the moment, but we could use another backup just in case of injuries. The last two that I'm going to read out come from Callum McKenzie. Don't need him, probably, but I rated him highly when he was here. I think we have missed out when he when he left. Others have stepped up. Ross Watson said, no need for him, sadly. And actually, I'll read one more. I think it will be one or the other, Dockery or Hyman. And I think, well, I know it's going to be Dockery. So that is today's video. That is today's Rangers Roundup. Did you enjoy the video? Maybe let me know. How is you feeling about the topics today? I will probably be back tomorrow to announce the official signing of Dockery. But yeah, it's all looking good on that front. I've been CJ Novo 92. Thank you for watching. And bye-bye.